through the entire temple. I feel like every time I turned around a corner, there was a new engraving or a statue of all different animals. My camera just died, but it's okay because I brought my other camera with me today. Um, but I was just saying, you could probably see from some of the footage that there are really tall buildings around because we're right in the middle of the city, which is amazing to see kind of this glimpse into the past. I also found that this actually isn't the original location where the temple was built. Originally, it was built by Sujo Creek in 247 AD and it was relocated here in the year 1216 and has been here since. It has been through some changes over the years. During the Cultural Revolution it was turned into a plastic factory but then in 1983 they decided to rebuild it and renovate it back to its original state which is what we're seeing today and then there have been some add-ons. Hey guys, so I thought I was done filming earlier when I was about to leave Jingon Temple, but then I went across the road to watch some live music that I was just hearing, and I came across a whole entire park, which I had no idea was over here. I've been to this temple before, but I've never hopped over just across the street, so this was a good find. This is Jingon Park. I just read a sign uh, crossing in that said it was built in 1954, and it's such a cool area. It looks like it is a great spot to hang out. There's lots of people just sitting around enjoying the weather here. I saw some uh, older men playing chess together and there's also some live music performances in little different spots throughout the park. So here's that footage and I hope you enjoy it. to tell you about this really sweet group of people. They were so kind and lovely. Every time I would walk past them, and I walked past them a few times because I uh, just enjoyed the sights around the park for a bit, one of them would stop and wave to me and they stayed here for probably an hour and a half, uh, at least for the time that I was there, just playing music and making others smile. When I pan to the left here in a moment, you'll see everyone enjoying the music, sitting along the benches in the sunshine and it was just really lovely. Such a good ambiance here. I passed my favorite group of people once more. They were still there dancing and making music for everyone around to enjoy. And as I was just about to reach the exit, I was stopped by this man on the left. Oh my gosh, he is just so sweet and kind. He asked me to pause so that he could sing me some songs that he had been studying in Russian and a few other languages. And oh, it was just wonderful. Just the kindest, sweetest man sharing his passion with those around who'd care to listen. A Russian song. I can say Russian song. You can? I can. You can. Tarali paran, taras tara prayekranu gaun. Kavutra daraliu yokra prayejayitra. Sila senyo, 
，哇哦，谢谢。韩国，韩国，哇哦，韩国 ，so wonderful。Yeah. Next time, I'll open here in the Saturday and the Sunday. I'll open here. Okay. And next, uh, you bring, bring your American song. I'll bring my American song. You bring American song. Okay. America, very good. Very beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Thank you for singing for me. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. bye, -bye. Have a good day. Hi, Jan. Oh, that was so lovely. merchandise line here at Starbucks in China. I always find it so fascinating to see the different offerings that they have depending on which country you're in. Here are some of the drinks available at the Starbucks Reserve, but some of the fall drinks here in China are the peanut mousse latte and the beer latte, which I haven't tried yet. They also have these moon cakes, which are for the mid-autumn festival coming up on September 21st. <laughs> on Temple and this was just icing on top of the cake so I hope you enjoyed this footage and I'm looking forward to making some more videos on my explorations here soon so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye